Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be talking about some updates that affect the N54. If you guys are just tuning in, I'm in the middle of a series where I'm doing my oil pump gasket, rod bearings, and my timing chains. I'm waiting on a couple more parts, uh, but we're going to be doing cam ledges next, and then we're going to be putting the chains on, if you're following along. But I noticed a couple interesting things. This is a minor change, but let me show you. So a local viewer by the name of Matt hooked me up with uh, used cam trays that are in good shape because my cam trays are in rough shape. I took them apart. Uh, some of you guys actually donated toward the cam tray and we got about a third of the way there. I really appreciate it, guys. Very nice of you. Um, that money went toward bolts and new seals and whatnot. So I really appreciate that. I'll put a link in the description again if you guys want to continue to do so, it's, it's appreciated. This is my original intake cam tray. And this is my original camshaft. So first up, these camshafts originally came with these metallic rectangular rings that dig into your cam tray. And they updated this over time. So here's one of the replacement seals. It's soft and pliable. It's made out of Teflon. My cam ledges have score marks on them. You can dig your fingernail in. They're almost a millimeter worn down. So that's no good. You can get Vanos codes and issues. But before we get too far into that, this is my original camshaft. As you can see, this camshaft is cast and it's quite heavy. The replacement tray is much lower mileage. It has about 120,000 less miles on it. If you notice this camshaft looks a little bit different it's much much lighter as you can see it's hollow inside my original camshaft is not hollow so from what i read later oa cars got this updated cam i believe that they call the process hydroforming now it's much lighter cheaper to manufacture from what i've heard it could help with high rpms etc but really the profile is the same it's not going to make much of a difference in my case a little bit less uh, rotational inertia but that shouldn't make a big difference but i just thought it was interesting that there was a transition sometime through 2008 where they updated the N54 camshaft, at least on the intake side. I don't believe the exhaust side was updated or maybe on later production they did both. So if you're gonna buy a set of used cams off an 09 motor, for whatever reason, if you ever did that, you'll probably already have the Teflon seals installed. This is a late production 08, so it still has the metal rings on there. It's low mileage, so the trays are still in good shape, but you'll have a different camshaft. So if I try to run my fingernail across this, it doesn't get stuck, even though there's just some light discoloration. So these will work well when I put these trays in. And again, special thanks to a viewer named Matt that reached out saying he had a set of low mileage cam trays. Next up, we have the crank hub, the OEM crank hub. You have a washer that just clips on that can easily rotate. That's the OEM washer. It just has some grooves on it, but it's basically just stamped steel. They can crack and they can easily just rotate because they just clip on. You have one on either side. And here's your main sprocket. And you have a grip disc. So you insert the grip disc on here. Then you take this piece, put it here. Take your washer, snap them in. They're free to move about. And they're not very grippy. They feel smooth. They have a slight tiny bit of grip to them, but not very much. Like 5,000 grit sandpaper. So you take that, put it on your crank hub, put your bolt through and you're good to go. So that's the assembled crank hub for the N54. So there's a look at the OEM crank hub. If you guys aren't aware, some N54 cars have spun their crank hubs and especially S55 cars. So to address this, BMW brought out a new crank hub. If you notice, they're a different size. The grip disc part number seems to be the same. So this is the new updated sprocket. It has the washer riveted into place or tacked into place. It's very grippy. It feels like a thousand grit sandpaper and it looks to be hardened or some more robust material that's not likely to shear or crack. As you can see, it's dark, much darker. And you have that on both sides. There was a version of this that was supposed to be a fix for the S55s, but it wasn't working. So about a year ago, BMW brought out this new part number, which fits the N54s. This is updated. It's, it looks like it's tacked in in more places and it's a different material and it's more grippy. I think this will be a little more obvious on camera. That is a lot wider by like 
almost two millimeters. It's thicker. Now, if you try to put this new sprocket on here, it won't even go. It's way too wide, but it easily fits here. And you have the same diameter as you used to overall. They'll look similar once they're all put together. This, of course, is a one-time use bolt. So you don't necessarily have to spend a thousand bucks for the parts to get the newest crank up fixes from aftermarket companies. BMW is still proud of the solution to deal with the S55 issue. They're not using aftermarket parts, obviously. And this came out only a year ago or so. So this wider area, hardened material, as well as more anchoring points along with uh, a grippy surface is the fix. So on an N54, it's a good idea to upgrade to this if you never want to spin your crank up. And this whole solution is like just over a hundred bucks. So if you have an LCI N54, you're going to have a six bolt main crankshaft and you will have that hollowed hydroformed camshaft, which is a little bit lighter. You wouldn't have the new crank hub because that came out after the N54 was discontinued as far as I know. So it's pretty interesting to see that, you know, there's still updates well after production. That's the source right there. Right there. So for your N54 guys, just thought you guys would find this interesting a technical analysis of the updates that they've done for the N54. It just so happens I'm gonna be putting all of them on my car. In the next video, we're doing the cam trays. Video after that, we're doing the timing chains and probably a startup and the car will be back on the road. If this is the first video you're catching on mine, please consider subscribing. I do upload regularly. Thanks for watching.